In this video, I take on Presidio Golf Course in San Francisco, and I got up at the butt crack of dawn on a weekday to play it, and let's just say it was not the best time to try a new putter. I will say if you're in the area, this is a must play. It is, however, a very challenging course. So let's head out there and see how I did. All right, hole number one is a downhill dogleg right hole. And if you hit it too far to the left and too strong, you might run out of fairway just like I did here on the first. I will say it was a little chilly, but we were one of the first ones out. A common theme of this golf course is that even though you're on the green, you still got a lot of work to do because of the undulations. Not only is a flat putt rare, but they roll pretty fast as well. And I do not respect the greens near enough here and I blast it by the hole. So like I said, I'm trying a new arm lock putter from Cobra. Uh, here's the comeback putt. And yeah, this one doesn't convert and I start off the day with a three putt. And just like how San Francisco is hilly, the Presidio Golf Course is no exception. And this is a downhill then uphill par five. Unfortunately with little warm up, I gave my partners a scare here on my second shot. Oh, four, 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 four. Four, four, four. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> And to follow it up, I end up punching this one directly into the trees. Not ideal, Matt. Oh. But as all short par fives go, there's always opportunities to make up strokes. Be the number. Oh. And we're left here with a short one, but unfortunately cannot convert. Ooh. I will say, there's nothing like recovering from a bad putt uh -oh. by hitting it into the hazard. Double cross, sit. Uh oh. <laughs> Okay, ball crossed out, great. <laughs> about 130 yards. And so we're hitting our third, and we're just hoping to get onto the green and give ourselves a chance at par. I think I'm on. If you're on, that doesn't mean anything. And as I was saying on the course, even though you're on, it doesn't mean anything. At least we rolled it good enough Ooh. to save bogey. Thanks, I'll take that. Okay, you can't really see the flag here, but I'm gonna go right for it. The map will show all. The couple I was playing with let me go through. I bladed it. Good thing I clubbed down. And I'll show you what not to do. Oh my gosh, I'm far. I death caught nerves as they were watching me on top of the hill. Oh. Someone needs to practice their sand game. And at this point, I just wanted to chip on and two putt and get out of their hair and also save the embarrassment. All right. One day I hope to play through a group like a normal human being, but we'll have to wait until then. Ah. Not the most ideal way to play that hole, but they're letting me play through, so you know how it goes sometimes. Word of advice here, don't take driver on this hole. Oh, there's the fade, but at the wrong time, I'm in trouble. <laughs> okay, in between clubs, 81 yards. We get lucky here with an opening, but end up short anyway. Nah, I took too much off, but short is fine. Ideally, we won't have to use my putter. You might want to close your eyes here. It gets ugly. Sit. Way too hard. Oh man, this is downhill craziness. And like I said before, these greens are really tough and command respect. Oh, I barely hit that. Oh my goodness. This putt has so much uphill break that it ends up almost rolling back into the hole. This is, oh, it almost rolled backwards into the hole. That last short game was masterclass in how not to play short game. We're finally able to muster up Finally. a good drive. Finally hit a fairway. All right, so ball definitely below my feet big time here. One thing's for sure is that you're gonna have a lot of elevated lies. Fade. Oh, ho, ho, baby. Yeah, if you're on the greens here, it doesn't really matter because uh, these greens are insane. Two putt would be great. I must say overall, I'm pretty happy with this putt. Now come down. And I left myself in good shape to two putt. Oh, looking good. And we're finally able to get a par. Okay. This hole is awesome, but scary. Awesomely scary? This iron ends up being a tad short, but ends up rolling onto the green. Oh, that was as pure as I could hit it. I think I'm just in front. Toe to toe, let it ride. And as you can see, most putts outside of 10 feet are going to have a ton of break. Wow. The snappage. This is cra These greens are crazy. Fortunately, we're able to clean this up for another par. <sighs> par. What? For this hole, I end up on the left side to avoid hitting a guy that I couldn't see on the right. Definitely went up the left, so I don't hit the guy. And I end up getting punished for it. Might be too far left, oh no. Okay, I got tree up on the left, but if I go too far right, I'm hurting. I think I'm just gonna go straight for the middle of the green and just punch this up. This shot, I end up topping it, but ends up working out. Kept it low. 
And I end up just into the front right of the green. That was tough. Let's get on the putting surface. So you can't see the result of this one, but this one ends up being pretty decent. Oh, baby, gonna like that. Snapping like crazy, I feel like. And just when I thought I had things figured out. Stay up, oh. The course had other ideas. Dang. Just off the left side with a little bit of a fade. A little bit of a wipey fade, guys. Uh, wipe, wipe. <laughs> I don't know if I asked for a, a ball to wipe, but kind of missed it. So I want to be 75 yards out. I'm going to hit this 160 to the left-hand side. I find that when I try to verbalize my shot, I almost missed the ball. I really end up doing what I say in the first place. I think I'm going to have more than I bargained for. Gosh darn it. But it's always good practice to set expectations. Oh, I shanked it. And try to manifest them on the course. Go. What was I saying that uh, getting on the green is half the battle? This is redundant. I'll be happy to two putt here. This putt ends up getting a little bit airborne like a chip and ends up rolling way past the hole. Sit, 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 sit. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I almost hit off the green. And it'll be another three putt to round out the front nine. Wow. I said happy to two putt. Take a front nine bogey golf. I think this one's car path only, so I'm going up the right. Going up the right? I did indeed. Uh, it's 18 car path only. <laughs> right, so this is a numbers game. Better off hitting two medium irons or take the chance at duffing a long club and then having a long third. I'm taking the high probability of a miss with my irons is not the end of the world. No fade, but kind of did what I wanted to do. 98 yards. I will definitely want to be a little bit right because the left is a trap and I hate traps. I end up chucking this one a little bit short. And I'm going to go right into the trap, aren't I? Oh, short. All right, new snake bite, one length wedge. Let's see how this goes. And I got to say, I'm pretty happy with these one length wedges. Not stinking bad, y'all. And we're able to clean this up for a par. Oh. Oh man, pure arena. This is a right to left hole. Perfect for my fade, you know? Oh, I played the middle, let it fade off too much. Might be trouble. Not position A. Got tree. This is a ridiculously hard hole, I must say. Oh my goodness, I hit that pretty dang good. Oh my gosh, sit on the green, sit, 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 sit. <sighs> scary. Another misread putt leaves me with a long second. Sit. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I was so bad. And as expected at this course, another three putt goes on to the card. Nope. <sighs> One hell of a cold be car path only. I'm right, gonna take it over this trap and fade it off. Does anyone else purposely hit to cart paths when it's cart path only? Wipe, wipe, wipe. There we go. The reason why I like one length is basically it hides a hybrid iron in the form of a hybrid. Technically, this is like a launch pad iron or a launch iron. Stay out of it. Stay out of the trap. Oh, we're way short. Go, get a kick. The one length wedges are back at play again. Count our blessings, guys. Count our blessings. Just right past the hole. Easy two putt is what I want. Good pace, wrong line. Okay, I'll take that. Two putts at Presidio is definitely a win in my book. So as the leaf blower guy continues to do his work, maybe you can go on and continue to subscribe to my channel. This is really difficult shot. Ball's well above my feet. Sit. Oh, now I have a pretty hard putt. This course kicks butt. So once again, we're left with a lengthy putt for par and leave this one quite short. You're gonna leave me short like that? And if you watch the ball closely on this putt, I feel like a rock prevented me from making this. I mean, not like the rock was gonna, it definitely hit, there's a bit, <laughs> oh my God. It hit a rock. Oh. Okay. 
Wow, look at that. No fade this time, straight pool. Uh, I think I'll take it. Flat line, never heard of her. This course will make you good at hitting off uneven lies. Go. Bump and run, probably not ideal here. So I'm gonna go over the ridge, it's gonna trickle down. Check. Not, not bad. I'm gonna make a putt to save my life. Actually looks pretty straight to me. Oh. Oh. All right, 155, playing 145. The fog was still covering the cityscape in the background. Oh, I thinned it. Uh-oh. But Presidio delivers on so many good views. Kick on. Oh. Working the short game again. All right, bump and run. I can't putt this, really. Unfortunately, I could not deliver on good bump and runs. Get in the hole. Oh. It went that way at the end. And when unable to clean this up for par and end up with another bogey. It was straight. Straight the whole time. The left side with the fade. Don't be in the trap. That's all I care about. And for once, I end up delivering on what was verbalized. Fade right of the trap, please. Okay, we're good. All right, let's see if I can just, just want to hold the green. Oh, flushed it. Is it enough? It may be hard to see, but this is quite uphill. I think so. Man, all I gotta say is that the greenskeeper today chose chaos. This is a stinking hard pin. I want a two putt, come on. I was able to verbalize and execute on the drive, which was great. Or a one putt. No, I jinxed it. Oh, sit, 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 wow. Oh my gosh, that's what I get for being so cocky. But unfortunately, I was unable to verbalize and execute the two putt. My gosh, I cannot putt to save my life today. Okay, here we go. Two more drives. It doesn't film well, but this hole is really uphill. That'll do. All right, I'm like 135, but there's some wind and it's super uphill. I've been waiting for quite a bit, so. And this second shot is blind into the green. Ball incoming! These greens have had my lunch all day. Don't mind being a little past, so I have an uphill putt, but not too far past. It. Wow, that took off. Thank goodness we're able to get a two putt here. My goodness, a par. Fighting for pars. All right, last hole. This is a beaut. Fade. Please fade. Oh, yeah. We're good. Well, as the saying goes, didn't come here to lay up. Wow. You wait for all that long and you hit a worm burner. It's a good layup. <laughs> Here we go, bump and run, right and left, all the way. I had one final chance to redeem myself as a bump and run gang member. That's gotta stop, huh? Damn. And unfortunately, I have failed you all. And we almost make this birdie attempt. Ooh, almost made it. Still got par. But I'll happily settle for the par. So overall, the Presidio is an awesome course. Didn't play all that well, but hey, that's to be expected from a mid-handicapped person like myself. If you're not on with the putting game, like I said, it's going to be a tough time. I hope you guys enjoy that one, and like always, keep chasing, and I'll see you in the next one.